All right, you lovely people. Here we go again. We got to do another reaction. Let's check this out. It's the first time we get to listen to Zero e Paolo Riccardo. Agora eu sei. Audio remasterizado. All right. Let's go. Let's check this out. Bam. <laughs> Man, this kind of like Pink Floyd guitar already immediately thumbs up. Oh, I like the sound of this. And I have to say, this new wave uh, sort of Bauhaus movement that was going on in the 80s, it seems like Brazil was really rich with it, you know? Like, there is always new band popping up from the 80s, of course, that we are discovering. And honestly, I enjoy it. <laughs> curious to see where this band uh, sits you know because I think it's the first time I hear it honestly I really like the singing the the lead singer here the first singer with the beautiful tone deep uh, and and at the same time also quite clean but I, I just love that that tone that he has and it was very well counterbalanced by the appearance of this other singer that comes in singing a little higher in a fashion more of, I would say, towards uh, Bon Jovi, you know, like that kind of singing. I mean, much more rock blues. And he also has that kind of rock blues voice with a little bit of growl and distortion in the voice that fits really well if you have it and you know how to use it <laughs> that's great ah Domini present keyboard look at that Let's make out, eh? He went really straight for uh, the making out and it worked! I always forget chorar, what it means, because he just said like the people that make me suffer and then the people that makes me chorar, like I suppose like uh, joire, like be joyful or happy. <laughs>
saxophone sounds uh, pretty high, like a really, really, really bright. This is really, really like reeks of 80s-ness from every angle, from the clothes, from the, the, the type of sound of the music and the keyboard and the hair. It just uh, <laughs> it's actually pretty cool. I like that. I wonder if this band is still around. What I like about a lot of those Brazilian bands is that they did this type of style extremely well. You know what I mean? Like really nice songs. And I say this in the way that sometimes you hear some, even in Europe, some of those bands which came out like, you know, by the, by the day, you know, five a day or something, because it was really the time where uh, TV, TV music was becoming a thing. So more TV station started to come out. And of course you need uh, bands to fill the schedule. And of course, I don't think there were as many band producers today, but definitely there were, I guess, quite many bands produced at the time, which, you know, some bands had to run for a year or two or even less for a song. And sometimes you could recognize some song really worked on more commercially than other. And uh, in this case, for instance, about Zere Paolo Ricardo, Agore say. Sounds pretty cool, I have to say, quite legit in the way that I see that the structure of the song is also kind of standard, you know, the, the usual verses, chorus, verses, a little break, the solo, but it's put together really well. I really enjoy that tasteful solo in the beginning and then that they reprise it in between the song a little bit. And of course, the saxophone gives again that kind of funk. Uh, also, I don't know, always you think of tonight's show of the 80s you know david letterman you know always i associate those things th those type of sound with that <laughs> And he's holding a black cat. I like black cats too, I had one. Nice. All right, this was an interesting discovery. I enjoyed the sound, the overall sound of the song, together with the little references, of course, that we make, just to place it somewhere. And I wonder who was their inspiration. Again, of course, I, I suppose Leja Urbana was the most prominent of this movement. Also because their writing, it, it just went a little further, deeper with the writing of Renato Russo, more engaged with uh, lyricism, you know, writing good lyrics. So at least for what I know of the, the songs they re reviewed, uh, I'm not an expert on Leja Urbana. We had done plenty of reaction. I know quite some songs, so I get a little bit the sense, of course, of the validity, grandeur, deepness, depth. I mean, depth of, of the band and of the writer for sure. So uh, it's also interesting to see all those other satellites around coming out, you know, as bands. And so, yeah, pretty cool. Sarah and Paolo Ricardo. I wonder if they're still around. Guys, thank you so much for this request. Did you enjoy this song? Did you know the song? Leave a comment for both. And uh, talk to you later. Ciao.